Hey, 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 hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I, uh, fast traveled here and got assaulted by this Minotaur. Eventually, I'll pick him off, but in the meantime, I'll tell you guys what we're exploring today. We're exploring Fort Nickel. Fort Nickel is a long abandoned fort from probably around the Second Era. It was inhabited once by humans, of course, and only has one zone. Well, it's again inhabited by humans, but not the nice type. They're not villagers, they're not settlers, they're bandits and marauders. And we're going to take them out. Huh. So there's actually a little area that I want to show you guys before I uh, before I go in there. It took, me, it took me a second to remember it. I looked down at the map and I was like, there's something about that lake over there. Alright. Somewhere over here, there's a corpse. And I think we've already found it. It is laying down in the water. Its name is Nath Dyer. Alright. So let's read that note he had. He had primrose leaves and a letter. You don't know me, but I see you every day. Every day my heart skips a beat as you walk past. I am writing to you in hopes that you will let me court you. When next you venture into town, I will be the one holding a primrose. I don't feel like that worked out for him. Well, poor Nath. That's actually the name of a developer. I believe and he also has a chance of holding some minor loot on top of the primrose leaf and he wished to court a lady in the Imperial City and that just didn't work out he was attacked by bandits or possibly an estranged rival or maybe he committed suicide you know there's a lot of different things oh yeah he's been beheaded you can actually find his skull somewhere over here at the bottom of the lake I don't know exactly where, though. Eh, somewhere. It's kind of unnecessary. Oh, there it is. It's kind of unnecessary to find his skull, though. It doesn't really add anything to the Easter egg. And it really makes me question what exactly was going on at Bethesda offices that that happened. Maybe there was just some poor chap that had a crush on one of his co-workers. And... Unfortunately, got immortalized for it. Alright. But into Fort Nickel we go. Out of Fort Nickel we go. I always forget the chests outside. Hup. So... Hmm. Right over here is a set of important loot. Arrow of Jolt, Steel Arrow. A fine steel bow, which is a pretty good item to have really early in the game. And a skeleton. Seems this man died to firing squad. I don't quite know what happened to him. Maybe he's connected to Nath over there. But, uh, yeah. That was, uh, rather than a chest, just an important piece. An important addition to the area. And just some really nice loot. Alright. Alright. I actually use the recording window to record at times like this because I can't properly see what's happening in front of me all the time. Oh lord, that looks like an enemy. Let's open this gate. Alright, on each of these sides there is a single chest. That Marauder is pretty much always a guaranteed spawn. Whatever's in these chests, however, is completely random. Oh, right. It's at my foot, not up there. Hmm. I'm debating on how I want to take on this floor. Usually I come in with my game plan already set in motion and everything, but 
Today's been a bit of a rush, so I haven't had time to really think all of that out. Either way, though, this area is riddled with marauders. And necromancers? Hmm. Alright. So either way, there are some bandits here along with the marauders, though the marauders are the primary inhabitants. The bandits and marauders will fight over the area, and usually to the death. You'll be left with only maybe one or two people to fight, and you can even dispatch the winners to loot their bodies and just take whatever else you want. Hey, there's only one left. There's two left. Alright. They are dead. What led to this battle? What led to them fighting like this? Alright. Let's light up the area. And since everything else is dead, we can just explore. Whoa. With ease. What was the frame droppage for? Okay. Hmm. I feel like there's something here. Oh! Does that open the gate? It does! And if you go down here, you actually get to open the door the little area that all these guys were fighting in. Open the chest and everything. Loot everything you can, of course. Ah, so they were fighting on open water. They were doing pretty good about it. Doing pretty good, too. Let's loot the bowman, who was fighting up close with a dagger. The wizard. The battle mage. And another bowman. Hmm. Interesting. Now, in my experience, usually the survivors will indeed be the marauders. Bandits just aren't as well as equip equipped as most marauders are. So it leads to a rather skewed odds in the marauders' favor. That being said, a whole bunch of different combinations of these enemies can spawn in. Ranging from two heavy warriors that could very easily sweep the floor with anyone involved. Or two bandit bowmen or two marauder bowmen like what was down there. Which makes it, e which makes it hard for them to take control of the situation. However, the bandit hedge wizard did not help. The hedge wizard is a tough enemy to deal with if you're an NPC. You don't inherently attack them first. And the AI isn't smart enough to really pick up on, hey, you should kill the mage. So that one bandit over here was just to guard and make sure no one else got in. Actually, was he a marauder or a bandit? It seemed he was locked in the cage, too. Ah, uh, Marauder, and he definitely wasn't locked in. Alright. That's a little odd, but... The whole situation's actually a little weird in this area. It is a unique encounter, though. And I believe every few weeks, this encounter responds. Which I will show you... As I said, every few weeks, this encounter responds. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I'd forgotten it did. Starts with the bowmen going at each other. Ha. Uh. What was that?
You don't see me. You don't see me. Huh? This was not the intention. Go? Come out where I can see you. Come out where I can see you. I'm in front of you. It seems the bandits actually came out on top this time, which is interesting. I mean, of course, I helped a little bit, but normally the bandits don't have such favorable, uh, favorable RNG to get a group that can come out on top. It didn't help also that their battle mage here didn't actually jump into the fight to help. But yeah, I've, it's, it's a rarity, but they've won. All right. Everyone can go home. Oblivion is over. Uh, okay. Let's loot the new guys. I'm gonna grab up my arrows that I shot in vain in this general direction. Uh, I, I'm tempted to grab the bow, but I will refrain. I have enough inventory management to do. All right, let's get out of here. That's an easy way to get some loot, by the way. If you wait, I'd say a week to a week and a half, they will be back and you can pick off the survivors and just grab whatever you want. It's also a pretty easy way to practice your skills in combat if you're not a particular to being a mage. All right. If you guys like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. Th oh. Thank you all, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Ah.